Sometimes, you just got to bring the boom. We've got the Logitech Squeezebox Boom on this episode of Gadget. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We are the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we are not in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii. That's right, we've moved out of Hawaii officially. I'm on my way over to Washington, D.C., where I'm taking over a new position as the National Director of Vocation Promotion. But before I get there, we decided to stop at our secret bunker here in Henderson, Nevada to bring you some new tech. Now, if you're an uber geek like me, this might be something that's near and dear to your heart. You probably have a lot of media files. Hundreds, thousands, maybe tens of thousands of pieces of classical and pop music, your podcast, whatever it might be. And for us, it's actually pretty easy to call up. You know, we have it on our desktop, our laptop, our media device, our phone, our iPod, whatever it might be. But for non-techies, it can be kind of daunting to access all of our media. Now, I share it with my mom and my dad, but uh, you know there aren't a whole lot of solutions. I can give each of them a, an iPod. I can load up a bunch on a media device. But you know, doing actual streaming media over the network that I've created, it's out of reach for most lay people. There are a couple of solutions out there. You know, you can home build a box, a Linux box that's designed to stream media. There are a few boxes from different manufacturers that do really high-end audio that can kind of do it well. But there hasn't really been a unified solution that gives you an end-to-end -end ability to take your media and stream it well. That's why we're taking a look at the Logitech Squeezebox Boom. The Squeezebox Boom is a network-connected music player from Logitech an evolution of the Squeezebox Duet, which made streaming audio from your home or business network possible even for non-technically inclined. The boom is 13 inches wide, 5 inches high, and 5 inches deep with an angled front surface. The cabinet is black reflective plastic with two speakers framing a rubberized control panel below the display. The screen on the Squeezebox boom is bright, easy to read, and uncluttered. It uses a teal VFD, or vacuum fluorescent display, with an ambient light sensor that automatically adjusts the brightness on the high contrast screen to compensate for lighting around the unit, meaning that you'll never have to squint to see the screen in bright light or drape the unit to avoid having a blaringly bright screen break your ambiance or sleep. The front panel of the boom has an array of backlit controls, including six preset buttons, power, five standard function buttons, and a volume rocker in addition to the push button control wheel. The top of the unit hides a wide function bar that toggles snooze or sleep modes. For those of you who plan to mount the squeeze box boom away from hand's reach, the boom comes with an infrared remote control that duplicates most of the keys found on the front panel. The back of the squeeze box boom is Spartan by design. No mess of cables here. There is a power plug, the ethernet port for those who want a wired connection, and two audio jacks. One doubles as the headphone jack and an output for an external subwoofer, while the other is an audio in meaning that you can connect your media player, computer, or whatever device you might want to play through the boom as long as it supports a 3.5 millimeter jack. The boom features 3 quarter inch tweeters and 3 inch long throw woofers with a total of 30 watts of power. It also features digital crossovers and a DSP to process audio, nice, but not exactly ear shattering specs. Then again, the squeeze box isn't out to replace your home theater system, but to expand the reach of your music library with a conveniently packaged box that offers quality rather than quantity sound. Connecting the squeeze box boom to your network is simple. You can wire it directly to your network via a 10100 Ethernet port at the back of the unit, or you can opt to use the two internal Wi Fi antennas to link the boom wirelessly via 802.11g. Once you've plugged in, the large button wheel allows you to navigate the menus. The menu system is interesting because it offers the user dozens of parameters for fine-tuning the network and system behavior, but it doesn't seem cluttered or overly complicated. For most people, once the network is set up, they'll never be reminded that this is a streaming media device. Even firmware updates are automatically downloaded and applied. All the tech works in the background, leaving the user with only the decision of what to listen to. 
If you plan to use the boom only as an internet radio, then you've done enough. But why lose out on the best part of the squeeze box? The boom gives you a unique pin that allows you to register it with Squeeze Network. Once registered and no fee process, you'll be able to control your music, internet radio stations, playlists, alarms, presets, and pretty much everything else to do with your boom from a web browser using Logitech's Squeeze Central. You can download and install the Squeeze Central software to your computer, turning it into a media repository and control for your boom. You can even run multiple squeeze boxes from a single interface, making it a control center for the music of your entire house or office. As an added bonus, many popular network storage devices, like the entire ReadyNAS line from Netgear, have an embedded Squeeze Central plugin that will give your boom the run of your network storage. Either way, we were impressed with the ease of use and intuitive layout of Squeeze Central. It just works. The boom will play most of the popular audio formats including MP3, AAC, WMA, AUG, FLAC, Apple Lossless, WMA Lossless, WAV, and AIFF. It should be noted that the boom does not support DRM music without some kind of transcoding. That means that those with large collections of iTunes or Zune Marketplace files will not be able to directly play those files through the boom. The boom does have an included plugin to play music through the unit through iTunes, but the best results come from DRM-free music. In addition to the supported file formats, the Boom supports internet radio and podcasts from Last.fm, Pandora, Slacker, Rhapsody, and Sirius, among others. It took a minute or two to get the hang of navigating internet radio stations, but it quickly became apparent that there was a station for every style, tempo, and mood of music, talk show, or program. It's easy to start with the staff selection of stations, then move to a more expansive search of the internet for the streaming radio stations and podcasts for which you're looking. Logitech made it easy to mark favorites and add RSS feeds so that your streaming media will reflect what you want to hear. Audio quality was good. In fact, it was very good. Far better than what we had expected from relatively small speakers. The highs were clear, the bass was credible, and adding an external subwoofer made it a great little system for in-room theater or a heart-pumping gaming session. It filled a relatively large room without ever sounding tinny or distorted, even when we turned the volume to 11. In all, the Logitech Squeezebox Boom is a fantastic little unit that is the standard for an easy-to-deploy, easy-to-use, and easy-on-the-ears media box. The Boom is available now on the Internet and at most major consumer electronics stores. We were able to find it for as low as $230. Okay, let's talk about the negatives. First of all, this shiny black casing, this uh, plastic shell, well, it's definitely not oleophobic. It's going to attract dust. It's going to attract smudges. If you touch it, you're going to leave a fingerprint. If you breathe on it, you're going to leave a smudge. Now, this is probably not a deal breaker for most, but if you're sort of OCD like me, you're going to be constantly cleaning this down. Every time you touch it, every time you move it, you're going to sort of be in horror at the smudge you leave. The second thing is a bit more well, personal preference. Hooking this thing up is very easy, especially if you're using a wired network, because you just plug in the Ethernet cable and you go. If you're using a wireless network, however, and if your wireless network is like mine, using a 26-character WPA key, it can be a chore to input that using just the wheel. Now, I, I was able to do it relatively easily, but if you move networks a lot, wireless networks like I do, and if you plan on taking your boom with you, I mean, Logitech was nice enough to include a nice little carrying case, that's going to be a pain in the butt, and you're going to end up plugging it in most of the time. Still... Neither of those are deal breakers. And, I mean, they really have come up with some secret sauce here. They've come up with a unit that is small and compact and simple, and yet powerful and full-featured. It has everything from internet radio to the ability to, to really stream your media over your network from your network storage devices or your laptop or desktop. They've included extras, like right now, if you listen... This is my alarm clock sound. I've set this in the morning to start with waves. Now, you know, something simple to, to get me up in the morning, but if I don't wake up and I hit the snooze, it, it will turn into uh, louder waves and then some rainfall and then a, a, a rooster crowing. You know, again, that's a small thing, but for someone who's uber geeky, that's just really, really cool. This is a device, especially at this price point, this close to $200 price point, that I could see being put into several rooms in your house or in your small office. You know, having everything on one control panel so you can send the different pieces of music to different parts of your house, so you could share your podcast, so you could set alarms at individual sites. That's just, well, that's very uber geek. 
Now, if you are interested in something like this, if you're looking for something that is a bit stylish and very easy to use and yet will satisfy your Uber Geek lust, might I suggest you check out the Logitech Squeezebox Boom? You can find out more about it by going to their website at www.logitech.com. If you want to find out more about our impressions of the device, you can always go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. While you're there, go ahead and click on the little gadgets tab and you'll be able to find all of our episodes in high resolution. If you want to send us an email message, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been our bunker in Henderson, Nevada. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you.